90 million an hour, no matter what ship, gear, experience, or pizza preference. That's the exobiology money making at its best. Right then, like the intro said, get any of the ships you got, preferably the smallest. Get a good jump range out of it, so that basically leaves us with the hauler or diamondbacks. Don't forget the fuel scoop, detailed surface scanner, and maybe shields. If you don't value your time on this earth, well then, oh shit, 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 shit. Alright! Yeah... Toss a few shrimps and anchovies on that pineapple pizza you degenerates and off to the Armstrong moment land we go! Much like road riches, there are a few third-party tools that can help you out finding those high-paying planets with those high-paying plants. I'll link them down below. Get your ass to the designated system, and either through the fucking shit scanner, I mean FSS, or simply by opening a system map, target the desired planet with one of those lucrative yeast infections on it. And jump in that bush! Beforehand though, probe the anus of the target celestial spherical thing. And the smart thing here would be to match as many good paying plants in one area as possible and land there. In time, you'll start to remember the looks and shapes of these things. So this is just trial and error for the first few planets. Of course, for more information on how to perform this non-gameplay in the first place, well, do check out my guide down below. In the end, after my examination, that you can actually check the stream VOD for, I'll link it down below as well, I realized a few things. First, you don't need an SRV, in my opinion it's actually slower. Second, exobiology is a boring gameplay with a lot of fiddling around. And third, the pay is surprisingly nice. Approximate average is 90 million an hour. It can be a bit better if you min-max everything, but for the most part on casual play you'll see a lot less. But then, again, you can do the same thing with Robigo passengers, yet in Robigo you don't need to fuck around this much, and actually it is easier, with slightly more profits too. Well, the key moment here is, exobiology only requires a spacesuit and no additional gear, but unlike Road to Riches, it's nearly five times as profitable. It's a fantastic way to get past the beginner hurdles. If you calculate it, uh, technically you could within two hours get the biggest ships in the game. So, what are you waiting for? Oh, right. Right, you need Odyssey DLC for that. That's, uh, that's a stinker. But regardless, that's the exobiology non-gameplay for you. Ultimately, all that you need is a list of planets with multiple well-paying plants, and there you go. <laughs>